to be here amongst the saints. We truly praise and thank God for each and every one who came out to be in our morning service. We certainly praise and thank God for each and every one who is tuning in on our service as well. We thank God for you. We're asking everybody to get into the service. Give God everything you got. Because what you put in, God knows is what you'll get out. Amen. So we want to say that we love you, we thank God for you, and we certainly, certainly welcome you in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Yes. Amen. We thank God again for our prophetess Lucas. Amen. And that beautiful welcome on this morning. Certainly we hope that you do feel welcome in the body of Christ. Amen. A place where you can come and work out your soul salvation. Amen. Where you can come to the altar and lay your burdens down. Amen. Where you can get your healing, your deliverance. Amen. Be encouraged. Amen. To go on in the Lord. Amen. This is that place. Amen. Where you can get everything you need. Yeah. Amen. From the Lord. You can find it here. Amen. So we welcome you. Amen. In the body of Christ. Those who are watching on the opposite side of those cameras. You are welcome in this place. Yeah. Amen. Right. 336 East 25th Street. Amen. Where the prelates of this house. Amen. It's Dr. Margaret and Ronald Shelley. Amen. So feel free to come and worship the Lord with us. Amen. We're going to call, amen, our evangelist Blackwell to come and render our announcements. Give our hand clap. Amen. And she comes forward. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It truly is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Yes. yes. Sunday, October 27, 2024. Welcome to Holy Temple Holy Church Deliverance East Sunday morning worship and broadcast services at 336 East 25th Street, Baltimore, Maryland. Wednesday, October 30th, Bible study at 7 o'clock p.m. Tune in on Zoom. The Zoom ID number is 470-913-7230. The password is encouraged, all lowercase letters. Friday, November the 1st, evangelist and prayer service at 7.30 p.m. Tune in on Zoom. The Zoom ID number is 470-913-7230. The password is encouraged, all lowercase letters. Sunday, November, November the 3rd, Sunday school at 9 a.m. Tune in on Zoom. The Zoom ID number is 854-2974-3776. The password numbers are 684614. Sunday morning worship and broadcast is at 11 a.m. at 336 East 25th Street, Baltimore, Maryland. Sunday, December the 6th through through the 8th, we will be celebrating our 19th church anniversary. Yeah. Pray for the sick and shut in. Mother Zinnerman, Mother Knight, Elder Zinnerman, Layla and Phil Johnson, Latasha Holly, Brenda Smith, Latoya and Amaya Johnson, Sister Yvonne and her children, Herman Hackins, Lois, Steve, the White family, Rodney Harris, Jr. and Senior, and Ronald Stevenson. Amen. We thank God again for our evangelist Blackwell. Amen. And we thank God for those announcements. Please govern yourself accordingly. Amen. Come out and support all of the services. Amen. Our Wednesday night Bible class at 7 o'clock p.m. Amen. Our evangelistic service at 7.30 on Friday nights. Amen. Our Sunday school. Amen. At 9 a.m. on Zoom. And our Sunday morning worship at 11 a.m. So certainly come out and support all of the services. Remember all the upcoming events. Our church anniversary that's coming up. Amen. December the 6th through the 4th through the 8th. Amen. God has kept us. Amen. 19 years. Amen. And still more strong. Amen. In the Lord. That's something to celebrate about. Amen. God didn't allow us to fall off. Didn't allow us to be brought to an open shame. We have not turned back. Don't have a desire to turn back. Amen. And 
we thank God for the head angels, amen, of this house having a vision, amen, for his people. Amen. I'm certainly looking forward to coming out to celebrate the church anniversary. Yeah. Amen. I am proud of my leaders. Amen. Yeah. And the dynamic word that's been coming forth. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Down through the years. Amen. It's been keeping me. Amen. Thank God for our apostle. Amen. Who preached. Amen. Over this week. Amen. Yeah. On Friday night, I was able to listen in. Amen. And God knows I was proud. Amen. Of my apostle. Amen. He preached. Amen. God used him. Amen. Friday and Saturday. He moved in an unusual way. Amen. Through our leaders. Amen. And I've been praying for his strength. Amen. Holding him up. Amen. And overseer. I've been holding him up. Amen. In prayer. Pray for our leaders. Amen. If you got good men and women of God watching for your soul, pray for them. Amen. They are under attack. Keep our leaders lifted up in prayer. They need much prayer. Amen. Add them to the prayer list. They need much prayer. Amen. And I'm praying for them. I pray that you're praying for them. Continue to keep them lifted. Amen. Also want to say a special happy birthday to my son. Amen. Who will be celebrating his birthday on tomorrow. Amen. Thank you all for keeping barriers. Watching over him, blessing in him. Amen. He's going to be taking a new position. I thank God for moving him. I believe he's going to be working for the mayor's office. I thank God for blessing him. Amen. And keeping him. Amen. Continue to pray for him. Amen. And Devin as well. Amen. I just thank God for them. Thank God for how he's yet keeping and blessing my sons. Amen. No God is going to do it. No God is going to bring him, bring them back. Amen. Up to the fold. Amen. So continue to keep them lifted up in your prayers. Yes. Amen. On this morning. Amen. We know this is the fourth Sunday. Amen. We're going to call a portion of our men's choir. Right, Amen. Man. We know they can do it. Elder not here. Amen. He usually keep them going. Amen. But we know. <laughs> Amen. We miss our elder on today. Yes. Amen. Miss him in the body of Christ. Continue to keep him lifted. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself before you guys come. Continue to keep our elder lifted in prayer. Amen. That God will touch his body. Amen. On this morning, we know that he's not here. Usually we're up prayer for the sick and shut in. But we want to ask our assistant, Pastor Smith, if she would come forward and render up prayer. Amen. For those on the sick and shut in list. And then we will hear from our men's choir. Amen. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we give you glory, we give you honor and praise. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit, for your word. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, remember those on the prayer list this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, allow a touch to come to them, I pray, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, go into each and every home, God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, let the anointing of God and the Holy Spirit penetrate. Father, I pray today, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm asking you, I pray, to raise up someone, Lord, off the bed of affliction, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray today, O oh God, remember your name, Lord, on the prayer list, God, one by one and name by name. Remember, I pray, oh God, our mother Zimmerman, Gia, in a special way, Lord. I thank you for blessing her, Lord. 97th birthday. God, continue to go with her, Lord. Continue to take her through, Lord. Continue to bless her, body, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray to you, oh God. Remember those, Lord, in the hospitals and nursing home. Somebody got a surgery to do. Father, somebody, God, got a condition that they need you to move. I pray today, oh God, touch, I pray, Lord. Send your healing virtue, God. Bless from the crown of the heads, Lord, to the very soul of the feet, G. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, anyone under the sound of our voice, God, or over the airways, Lord, that need a special touch, God, I 
pray touch this morning gee uh, move on their behalf God uh, bless loved ones and children God uh, heal sicknesses and diseases Lord uh, coronaviruses Lord uh, heal arthritis lupus God uh, Father in the name of Jesus regulate our blood pressure Lord uh, Father touch sugar and regulate it Lord uh, arthritis I pray heal in Jesus name touch gout God uh, touch nervous condition Lord uh, touch stomach inflammation Lord uh, drive out lung diseases Lord uh, touch and cover the hearts with your blood Lord uh, Father in the name of Jesus we give you glory Lord uh, honor and praise this morning Lord Father, remember those in the hospital, the nursing home. Father, continue to go with them, Lord. Remember those behind the prison walls. God, move, save, deliver. God, use them for your glory. And we thank you and we give your name, which is holy to praise. And the glory is thine in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. We thank God again. Amen for our sister, Pastor Smith. Amen. Praying for those who are on the sick and shutting list. Praying for all manners of conditions. Amen. That could be ailing. Amen. The people of God. I pray that you continue to keep each and every one lifted up in your prayers. Continue to touch and to pray that God would heal and deliver. Amen. Every sick and tired body. Amen. That God would break the shackles. Amen. That he would send his word and heal. Amen. Those who are ailing in their body. God is able. Amen. To do it. He said by his stripes. Amen. We are healed. Amen. He carried the afflictions. Amen. Of many. Amen. And God is still able to do it. Amen. And raise somebody up off their bed of affliction. Amen. So continue to keep the people lifted up in prayer that's been called out on the sick and shut list. Even those who have not been mentioned. Amen. That may be sick in their body. Continue to lift them up in prayer. Amen. Now we want to hear from our men's choir. Amen. Give them a hand clap. Amen. As they come forward. Amen. On this tour of Sunday. Come on. We can do better than that. This is our men's choir. Amen. Our holy double Amen. Give them a hand clap.
for our good. Amen. And I'm holding on to that. Amen. God is going to make it for our good. Amen. Because that's the kind of God that we serve. Yeah. Amen. Got many testimonies of how God has brought me over. Yeah. Amen. And he's yet still. Amen. Bringing me through. Amen. And I got a right. Amen. To praise him. Yeah. Got every reason to praise him. If he's never done anything. Amen. Still got a right to praise him. Amen. Because I'm breathing. Amen. I'm on this side of glory. Amen. Got another opportunity to ask God to forgive me of my sins. Amen. And get it right. Amen. You got a chance. Amen. Still to get it right. Amen. It's not that God would want any of us to perish. Amen. But he gave us space, time, and opportunity to get it right with him. Amen. And why are you yet standing? Amen. He called the young as well as the old. Amen. It's not just for the old. Amen. But for the young. Amen. For us to get it right. That's amen. Right. Get it right while we get can. Right. Amen. I, you remember, amen, Mother Zimmerman. Amen. Always sing that song. Get right, church. Amen. And let's go home. Amen. We got a chance to get it right. Amen. We got a chance. Amen. To get it right. Amen. God don't want any of his people to perish. Amen. So why you can? Amen. Get it right. Amen. Don't worry about who looking. Amen. Get it right. The altar is open. Amen. Just get it right. Whatever you have to do, go into your secret closet and just get it right. Amen. It's not just for you. It's for me. Amen. I have to get it right. Amen. He's coming. Amen. For a church without spot or wrinkle. And that's our building. That's our temple. Amen. He's coming for us. Amen. And we have to get it right. Amen. I'm not going to stand before you long. Amen. But I thank God. Amen. For the opportunity. Amen. For me to get it right. Amen. On this morning. Amen. I didn't just come out. Amen. But I want to get it right. Amen. Because I might walk out these, these doors. Amen. And God may have my number. Amen. Up. And it might be time. Amen. To turn it all over. Amen. But I had an opportunity to get it right. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 I just thank God for Jesus on this morning. Amen. I want to call out Sister Maya. Amen. To sing. Amen. A selection. Amen. On this morning. Yes. Amen. 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 However, she would like to come. Amen. To bless the people of God. Amen. Give a hand clap as she comes forward. Thank you. Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting yes. to be where you are. I'll cry. I'll travel near or far for your glory. I will do anything just to see you to be whole. Yeah. 
speaker that will come forward amen our sister youth pastor bells amen in a way amen that god leads her amen to come on this morning praise the lord everybody praise the lord everybody praise the lord Y'all probably figuring why I brought my wallet up here. So I was asking God, what should I say? So this wallet, yeah. the Lord gave me this okay. word. I have access to crazy, radical faith. Okay. And you have to open it up. Yes. So we all know that you cannot use a bank card unless you open up your wallet and you have to take it out of your wallet and you have to punch it, push it in the machine and then press your code. So the scriptures, one of the scriptures is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So we know that I, we, you know, we opened it up, but we really truly don't have access until we pull out our faith. We pull out our hope. We pull out everything that we need that's not seen, but we still want to fast and pray. We're still going to seek God. We cannot keep it closed in. Because if you keep it closed in, you can have faith. But are you putting the faith in on Sunday? Are you using the faith on a Sunday and then closing it back up? My God. All right. I have access to crazy radical faith. Crazy radical. That means... Whatever I need from God, I'm going to have crazy radical faith. People going to look at me and say, well, I don't know how you got this much hope in this, much, in, 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 in this situation. I have hope. I have faith. I have persistence because I opened up my wallet of what I need. I have faith. I'm going to be persistent. I have what I need from God. So my next scripture, I'm not going to be before you long. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you, perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And that is coming from Philippians 1 and 6. Are you confident in what you do? Are you confident in where you're going? Even in the midst of trials, even in the midst of standing up to the devil and saying, you know what, I got crazy radical faith today. You're not going to get me. You're not going to do what you did to me on last week. We're going to keep going and we're going to do what we need to do. I have, oh, I, have, I have access to crazy radical faith. Hallelujah. So we know we got crazy radical faith on this morning. Whatever you're going through, whatever trials is, 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 whatever trials that you had, you're going to stand up to that devil and say, the Lord rebuke you and keep it moving. You got crazy radical faith. Hallelujah. No matter what's said to you, no matter who said this, who did that, we're going to keep going. Hallelujah. Even in all that, that was preached on, you know, all of this month, we need to have faith. We have access to faith. We have access to hope. We have access to what we need. But if you have access, why are you keeping it closed up? Why can't you open it up and pull it out and press the buttons? Your buttons are in the word of God. Okay. Your buttons are praying. Your buttons are seeking God. Hallelujah. Your buttons are keeping going. Hallelujah. I have access to crazy radical faith. 
Amen. 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 Well, that got me on my feet. Amen. I got an accent. Amen to crazy, radical faith. Amen. She got to tag me in. Amen.
on it to God who's the head of my life, certainly without him, I would not be here. He is everything to me. I give honor to the head angels of this house. Of Dr. the Apostle. So today, give honor to our sister Pastor Smith. Just give honor to everybody in the body of Christ on today. I truly praise and thank God for each and every one. On today, I'm just asking y'all to bear with me. I'm not feeling well. But I truly praise and thank God for giving me a press and a push just to be in the house of prayer on today, just to be in the midst of the saints on today. I truly praise and thank God for that. Thank God for our sister new pastor with that radical. That was a blessing that touched me. You could have kept going. Thank God for our evangelist, Black Rob. How God moved for her and how he delivered. Yes. Yes. I know how that can be. Yes. I've always been one, me personally, who had carry a lot of fear and sometimes I wouldn't get on evangelistic services just me being me yes. because of fear yes. you know I'd be scared to pray I know I can pray yes. I know I can speak yes. but sometimes fear will overtake me yes. to the point where I mean I'm shaking I, I don't have words to say don't know what to say but I know that's nothing but the devil yes. the devil don't want me to get to where God want me to be yes. but I truly yes. praise and thank God for prayer thank prayer. God for push just thank God for all that he has done. You know, the devil want us to stay back. He don't want us to go forward. He don't want us to be in a place where God want us to be. But if we just trust him, we just hold on. We just believe. We can do it. We can overcome anything. So I just want to speak briefly, just a few words on prayer. Um, I'm just going to be coming from John 5 and 14 and also the 15 verse. And it read as, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. So God wants us to put our confidence in him. He wants us to put our trust in him, that whatever we ask in his name, according to his will, that not only he will hear us, but he will also do. The election is going on. You have people talking about what Trump going to do, what Harris going to do. Uh, she ain't doing this. He ain't doing that. This, that, and the other. But I went, the conversation was brought to me because, you know, it's always a type of conversation of what's going on in the world. And a lot of times I would not, you know, speak on it or have anything to say, but Somebody said something to me this week. Well, who are you going to go for? And what do you think about this? And what do you think about that? And so I looked at them and said, you know what? I put my confidence in God, not man. I don't put my trust in man. Because man will fail you every time. My confidence and my trust goes into God. And I, I shut them down because they looked at me like I was crazy. But I know who God is. I know what God can do. I know how God can provide. How God can bring us out. I know what God can do. Her ain't going to do nothing for me. Trump ain't going to do nothing for me. But God is the one that's going to see us through. God is the one that's going to take care of us. God is the one that's going to make the way. God is. So I thank God for prayer. I thank God for the series on hope and faith. Because God knows I need that. I need hope, and I need to build up my faith. Going yeah. through a lot of things in my body. I mean, I've had so many doctor's appointments this year that will cause me to lose my faith, yeah. that will cause me to lose my hope. Yeah. But I praise and I thank God for the word of God on faith. Yeah. Trust in God. Yeah. Knowing who he is. Yeah. Knowing that he's a deliverer. Yeah. Knowing that he's a healer. Yeah.
because we know, amen, amen, he is the author and the finisher of our faith, amen, he will never leave us nor forsake us, amen, he'll be with us to the end, no matter what it look like, no matter what it feels like, no matter what we're going through, amen, hold on to our faith. We thank God for her. Yeah. Amen. I know I said she was the last speaker. Oh. Amen. But can't forget this speaker. Amen. Yeah. Certainly, oh, for, I, I didn't forget about you. Amen. <laughs> just, just for a brief moment. Amen. But certainly, amen. Thank God for this woman of God. Yeah. Amen. Our sister, Pastor Smith. Yeah. Amen. She's such an inspiration to me. Yeah. She just yeah. don't know it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, my God. She's such an inspiration. Yeah. I thank yeah. God for her. Amen. She is our last speaker. Amen. Give a hand clap. Let her come. Amen. The way God needs her to come. Amen. If it's speaking, speak. Amen. If it's preaching, preach. If it's teaching, teach. Amen. However, God give you the do. Amen. Give a hand clap. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. We have some God in heaven. But one point I'd just like to bring about and that apostle brought out in the message when he was talking about Ruth. And we all, um, we may know some of the story with uh, Naomi and Ruth. Uh, they went to a far country in Moab and all of Ruth's children died. And her husband died. And she just had two daughter-in-laws and the daughter-in-laws uh, wanted to stay with Ruth. But Naomi, Naomi said, go back to your kindred, start a life of your own. You're young women, you lost your husband, my son, the daughter. I have no way to help you or provide. I'm even leaving and going back to the land of my kindred. And don't even call me Naomi anymore, call me Mark. 
because I am so bitter in my spirit and in my soul. And I want you all to have a blessed life. And Orpha reluctantly kissed her mother in law and went back. But Ruth said, When you go, I go. Now, this was at the bottom. The bottom, the bottom dropped out. If it's if it ever a bottom that dropped out, it dropped out here. They had nothing, zero. She was going back with zero. She came there with possessions, but she's going back with zero. And she's going back to her country with nothing. But the word that Apostle brought was a dynamic word. He mentioned that Naomi was anointed. She had the anointing of God. She was from the children of Israel. And though she went back with nothing, Ruth stayed with her. And the Spirit of the Lord blessed Ruth. And Ruth obeyed what Naomi instructed her to do. And by being obedient, Ruth went from zero, nothing, getting the scraps left of what they believed, to owning the fields. To only, and not only that, Apostle brought this great point. She is one of the few men, women mentioned in the genealogy of Christ. That's how powerful that, that, that legacy left. And as Apostle Priest, they didn't talk about women in the genealogy. Most of the genealogies, they talk about their men, their husbands, and their generation. But it was such a dynamic move of God, that the Lord had her name written among the women in the Bible who ended up to be the grandmother of King David. So what the message was saying, and, and church, if you get nothing else, get this, your faithfulness will take you to where you need to go. And Ruth had possession, Naomi had possession, but she lost it all for a season, and she had no way or means without a husband, without children, without these men. In those days, the men were the ones providing, bringing in, and, and maintaining the household. She was there, but she couldn't do it by herself. She was down to nothing, and that's why she said, I'm just going back, throw up my hand, what can I do? But Ruth stood there, and the Spirit of the Lord moved. So your faithfulness, church, means a lot. It means a lot to God. So the work of the Lord, the enemy comes to discourage you. Um, we heard some great testimonies. His job is to discourage you. When you're working for God, he's working overtime. Because he's trying to stop that. When he sees you from breakthroughs, he tries to stop. But know that steadfast. Unremovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, and your labor will not be in vain. Not be so in vain. Powerful went from zero to owning the fields and full of wealth, and not only full of wealth, she was gained notoriety and prestige as being the great woman who was King David. Grandma. So we certainly praise God for the word. Hold on to your faith. Stand and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand, I say, on the Lord. And God will certainly bring you out. Stand and just hold on to God. Stand, the unremovable. Stand and the power of God will move on your behalf. And we give God glory, honor, and praise. Give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. Thank the Lord. Amen. For the great great messages and make sure you tune in or Apostle Ronald Shelley on Friday and Saturday. God bless you.
she hadn't been promoted. I said, but she had been promoted. I said, because one, she in charge of all the women. She in charge of the women. That's a promotion. Oh, God, Amen. Hey, man, that's no different than the youth pastor. Hey, Amen. If you in charge of, of people, you in leadership. Positions, we feel that uh, we we not we are nobody. Amen. If you're not the assistant pastor, you feel that you haven't been promoted. Amen. But there are, it's just like I begin to think about uh, Lady Thomas this morning. I said there's different types of pastors. Amen. You got. Pastors over the women, pastors over the men, you got youth pastors, you got pastors over the church, you got all kinds of different pastors. Amen. Hallelujah. And I thank God. I thank God so much. Amen. For prophetess Luke. Lord have mercy. Hope and faith. Amen. It has healed her. Hallelujah. It has healed her. And you know, I thank God for this woman of God. She pressed her way through the whole weekend. She drove all the way to PA by herself. Amen. And when I didn't, I when when uh Evangelist Bedford. When she had uh, texted me that she wasn't going to make it, 
Amen. But I thank God for it. She may not have been there physically, but she made sure her finances was there. Amen. 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 And I thank God. Amen. So much for her. So sometimes I look at it and if, if uh, Van is back but not there, then I'm not looking for properties. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. But I tell you, she fooled me. She was dead. Amen. She had some faith and hope. Lord, have mercy. And I thank God. I thank God. Amen. I thank God for Sister Pastor Smith. Amen. I tell you, I called these four women because they was in the service all weekend. Amen. So I knew that they were stirred up. Yeah, right, they were. I knew they were stirred up because they were there all weekend. Amen. And I, I, I thank God so much. And, and I'll tell you. I tell you, since Pastor Smith, she like Ruth. All right. Yes. Amen. The reason why I say that, we her Naomi's. Uh -huh. She's going to stick with you. Yes, 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 yes. She's going to stick with you. Yes, I don't care what. Yes, Amen. Right. She's going to hang in there. Yes. That's a roof for you. Yes. Amen. No matter what, she there. Yes. Amen. And I, I thank God. Amen. So much for these women of God being such powerful, powerful words on this morning. Amen. I, think, I, I tell you, uh, sometimes Vance Blackwell give me a hard time. I heard her when she said this word. She said, she said, I thought my pastor was a this <laughs> I, You know, I was almost looking for her to say she couldn't do it. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, but, but she got a breakthrough. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. This fast. Stay on it, y'all. Stay on it. Stay on it. Don't get off of it. Amen. 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 We don't have all our young people here this morning. Amen. But we're still going to have uh, Altarian service. Amen. We're going to be obedient. Amen. The Lord spoke and said, Turn for the month of October. And I tell you, it's doing something for the bad. Amen. He hasn't been feeling well. Amen. And uh, my husband and I, we've been trying to tell him to get him something to eat. He said, no. He said, I got to make it through this fast. I know that. Amen. And I thank God for it. Amen. Amen. He's been 